It is a big idea. A new world order. Your world is not what it seems. Alex answering. Outside the box. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the 301st edition of Outside the Box. It's June 5th, 2011. I'm your host, Alex Hansry, with you live for the next hour. And tonight, instead of starting the show with more doom and gloom news headlines about tornadoes, floods, and threats of World War III, we're actually going to talk about something that could be considered a positive news story. Adam Kokesh is a former guest on Outside the Box. He ran for Congress last year. He's a former uh, Iraqi veteran uh, who uh, is a number of many activist groups speaking out against the war and the things that he has seen on the battlefield. And so Adam Kokesh, um, he has a show now for Russia Today. Uh, it's called Adam, Adam vs. the Man. And you can find this uh, on his YouTube channel by looking online. And he staged a protest at the Jefferson Memorial. And Bill will go ahead and get that uh, track ready. I believe that's track number five. They staged a protest at the Jefferson Memorial in Washington, D.C., a place in the United States where it is now illegal to dance. In a show, an expression of free speech, Adam Kokesh organized a flash mob of many people that chose to dance uh, and show... Uh, expressions of affection, cuddling, hugging. Uh, you'll see some of that stuff later on. This is actually another protest that took place in Washington, D.C. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and show that video. And when we come back, by the way, this took place about uh, a week ago or, or so. Um, there was another follow-up protest that took place yesterday. We're going to show you that clip and what happened there. But first, this is the protest from several weeks ago. Adam Kokesh and uh, some of his friends the Jefferson Memorial in Washington, D.C. It is illegal to dance in this part of the United States. the officers now are younger. A lot of them are ex-military. And not all cops are bad. But there's certainly a, a certain um, breeding selection going on. Certain social engineering going on within those in securities today. Law enforcement, military. There's a certain grooming. And for those that are wondering, that is Miss uh, Benjamin from Code Pink Why? on the screen uh, to the left. Dance. She's been putting handcuffs because, well, she was holding her boyfriend. Show of affection. Illegal in the United States. This particular part of the United States, the Lincoln Memorial. And there's Jefferson there, the statue of Jefferson. So there's definitely the, the irony. I'm pleased to see there was uh, a decently uh, mixed amount of activists there, men and women. Now, this guy is a very interesting character who definitely plays the role of the uh, aggressor on several occasions. And some people just love to push women. If you continue to record, you will be arrested. Clear them out of here. Sorry, the memorial is temporarily closed.
Rides over. So clearly you have a lot of people here that aren't afraid. You can also see that in the clip as we observe how people react. They're not afraid. The cops are starting to arrest people. They're they're not afraid. They're still looking. They're still they some of them have cleared out, but at least they showed up. And then of course in London, they got all types of strange draconian laws. Well, in London, if you look suspicious, they'll come up and ask you for your ID and put you in some sort of a tear database. That will happen. That's exactly what happens in London. Shouting CCTV cameras using the voices of school children. You know, the irony of George Orwell, right outside his home that he actually lived in. Of course, George Orwell is his pin name. There's all these surveillance cameras right outside his house. Okay, so this is the Lincoln Memorial, and um, have we already got to the clip with Adam Kokesh? Okay. Okay, so we we didn't have the clip of Adam Kokesh body slammed. Okay. That got played? Okay. So we did see Adam Kokesh, Alex, get body slammed. Okay, so one thing I want to note about that, you notice how he fell. That's a guy that, that actually knows how to fall um, without resisting, but clearly, you know, he's got, I don't know how many cameras showing the whole world what's going on. Uh, but he, he doesn't exactly show any fear. And there's also a particular moment where there's a stare down between him and one of the other rookie officers where he's looking at him and looking him up. and. Adam Kokesh maintains his ground, doesn't show any fear, and of course is in the right, and of course the man that's not in the right, uh, a little bit of consciousness, tends to seek into the old, um, uh, the mind, and then doubt begins to form in the mind of the officer as to whether he's doing the right thing and whether uh, he might be getting himself into a, a very big mistake. I wonder how the officers feel now uh, with their faces all over the world. Are they proud of this? Are they proud? Would they want their parents? Um, their loved ones, their kids, to see daddy in the news choking a man for dancing. Okay, we have another clip, and this is clip number two, and I believe, Bill, that's uh, over at track seven. And this is, this is the follow-up protest. This took place uh, yesterday in Washington, D.C. Now, my uh, lifelong childhood friend, Gunner, that's actually just called in, he uh, called me last week and said he was going to go to the protest in Washington, D.C., and he did. And in fact, in this Russia Today clip, you actually see him uh, about two minutes into the clip and about three minutes in at the very end. When we come back from this clip, and this is again the protest, the follow-up protest, Adam called for everybody to come back to do it again. Uh, we'll play that video and then talk with Gunner. Go ahead and roll it, Bill. And see, this is kind of why I chose to lead in with this story tonight. There's a lot of doom and gloom out there, but you do see some joy here. I mean, you do see some happiness. Uh, you do see a lot of women there and men, and they're, they're having a good time. They're not afraid of the system. They're there. The cameras are there. We're going to show the world we're going to dance if we want to. And there's so many different ways you can express yourself. So many different ways you can rebel mindfully, intellectually, spiritually, to help influence others to the ripple effect. We don't have to be slaves anymore. Macaulay Colton, Home Alone, we don't have to, we're not afraid anymore. We're coming out of our homes. We're getting away from our TV sets. And we're getting involved. So this is Adam Kokesh, the right of the screen. Got some interesting caricatures there. There's some funny outfits. A lot of pink suits. Hula hoop.
Here's Gunner. Let's go. Keep moving, guys. Keep the line moving. Keep the line moving. Let's go. You gotta move, sir. Wait, punch these guys. I'm not gonna push my way through them. Forget that. That's your job. Just turn around and walk. <laughs> Keep the line moving, guys. Keep the line moving. I can't go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep the line moving. We're trying to get us out of here. Keep the line moving. <laughs> Why do, you have, why do you have to? We have to do this. Let's go. Why do you have to? Why do you have to? Why do you have to? Okay. All right. Now join us from somewhere in the desert is Gunner, and uh, he's uh, very tired right now. He actually just got off the plane, and uh, he is back from DC. And uh, gentlemen, let's let Gunner through. Gunner, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Alex. Okay, so uh, tell us about the protest. First of all, how many people were there? Uh, you know, I didn't actually get a head count, but it had to have been close to 1,000. Close to 1,000 people. I, I, I have a hard time uh, kind of seeing 1,000 people in that one spot. So were there a lot of people outside? Oh, definitely. Yeah, they came and went. And uh, near the end of it, they weren't letting any more, more people into the monument. So. so there must have been a lot of media there, because obviously um, you had your moment there on Russia Today. Yeah, they were all plain closed. You couldn't spot them, but everybody had a camera. So, so Adam Kokesh, uh, I uh, had him on the show because you asked me to have him on. And um, did you get a chance to meet him? I did. Yeah, I got to uh, express gratitude for him uh, for what he's doing, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, DC is a strange place, by the way. I don't know if you got a chance to check out the sites or Pennsylvania Avenue or the the pentagram. Yeah, it's kind of spooky. It's kind of, well, how was the how was the travel uh, on the airplane? Have you uh, gone through one of these body scanners yet? No, I haven't. And DC didn't have them, and uh, <clears throat> neither did the state I'm originating from. So there's a. I'm actually looking forward to, to coming across one, so I can do my best to actively resist it. Well, um, what are some of the things that you wanted to bring up tonight um, in terms of why you went out there to support the cause, and um, some of the activism that that you've been involved in? Um, you know, I just told the audience briefly that we're friends and we've been kind of sharing a lot of, um, philosophies on life over the years back and forth. And, uh, we've grown a lot over the years. So I kind of want to get an idea on your thoughts on things, uh, the state of the world and, uh, some important things that people might want to be focused on right now. Yeah. The state of uh, the world, well, all over the world, but we're definitely mm -hmm. in a police state in our nation. Um, you know, I'm fed up. Like